Welcome to our video tutorial featuring our Service Bureau requirements for Publix. We offer all our clients the possibility to switch solutions once they are ready to transition to another. Here are the solutions available to allow you to transmit documents with Publix with EDI Gateway. Aside from our Service Bureau, we have a Web EDI portal, WebGate Plus. We can do file transfer, any format such as CSV, iDocs, or XML to EDI. We can integrate into any ERP system and also offer VAN services. The required public transaction flow is as follows. You will receive a grocery purchase order and you will send a grocery invoice. Your invoices must be emailed directly to OPS at edigateway.com we require 48 hours to be able to process the document on your behalf. You will receive your purchase order from us by email or fax, depending on your choice of communication channels during the setup. Please note that you can always submit a request to modify the notifications at setup at edigateway.com. Once you have shipped the goods from your purchase order, you will need to complete the invoice for us to be able to process it through EDI. All the tutorials related to the EDI for Publix can be downloaded from the email that was sent to you when you were ready to go live with EDI or visit our website at edigateway.com under Webinar and Tutorials. You must email to OPS at edigateway.com and allow us 48 hours to process and transmit on your behalf. Let's go through the invoice requirements. Most of the required data that is transmitted on your EDI invoice is pulled from the purchase order and the profile information. The data that we require of you is data that we do not have access to. In order for us to generate your EDI invoice for Publix, we must have the following information on the paper invoice you submit to us. The invoice date, the invoice number, the terms of payment in the form of discount percentage and net days, the quantity and unit of measure of each item, the case price, the part number as indicated in the purchase order, and if you are applying an allowance, please indicate the amount of the allowance. Note that you are not allowed to add an item that is not on the purchase order for Publix. We thank you for choosing EDI Gateway Service Bureau to exchange your EDI documents with Publix. You are now ready to exchange business documents through our Service Bureau. If you receive errors or EDI-related documents from Publix, please forward them to us. Here's how to reach us. And from all of us at EDI Gateway, thank you for watching.